guys, we're going to be looking at the Sub-Zero model in the brand new Callaway Epic Flash range for 2019. If you don't know what Sub-Zero is, it's been with Callaway for a few years. You usually get a standard head and you get the Sub-Zero head. The Sub-Zero head will appeal to a golfer like me who requires less spin. So if you're, you know, need more spin, you probably look at the standard head. There's obviously more to it than just that. But the Sub-Zero head definitely gives me a lower spin rate, which is exactly what I need. So I'm pretty excited for this. But before we get started, if you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe to the channel. We've got a lot of great content coming in 2019 and beyond. It's pretty exciting times and I don't want you to miss out. Also comment below on anything, um, especially your opinions on the new Sub-Zero driver. It's very, very interesting and I would love to know your thoughts on this throughout the video. If you're here and want to know more about Epic Flash in general, we've got the standard review out there as well. The link is below to that. But the big story is Epic Flash, the Flash face. Something that wouldn't be out of place in an Independence Day movie. The pattern on the face reminds me of the door closing on Will Smith and he just gets through it. Spoiler. For the first time, Callaway is saying that artificial intelligence has been used to design a golf driver club face. And I'm not sure how I feel about that, to be honest. Part of me is, well, my inner nerd is extremely excited. The other side is just, well, I'm scared. Like, where is this going? Hey Siri. Go straight and long. I don't know how to respond to that. Not yet. So this supercomputer goes through 15,000 face designs before arriving at flash face. Callaway is saying it's a pattern design that a human would not have even thought of. It's that random. The waves go in all different directions that even Patrick Swayze would have struggled to have ridden one. So with Epic and Rogue, the huge innovation was jailbreak. Played a huge part in those drivers, but to be honest with you, with the sounds of it, it's playing an even bigger part in this driver because without jailbreak, there would be no flash face. Without flash face, there would be no jailbreak. It's working as a team, as a unit. Um, and these patterns are designed specifically to work with jailbreak. So unfortunately, guys, you can't hacksaw the face out and give it your mate to stick on his driver because it's not going to work. It needs the jailbreak technology. It's like Molder needs Scully, basically. So with the Sub-Zero model, we're used to a more of a fixed weight. Well, this has changed for the first time in a Sub-Zero model, Callaway have put in the sliding weight. Uh, adds a lot of versatility, um, and for it's not just for better players, but anyone trying to take advantage of, of a lower spin, yep. uh, now have all the shot shape adjustability Fantastic. as well. Just more off the bottom, that was. Straight at it. <laughs> Get in then. Oh. So if you've seen the Epic, uh, Epic Flash review, I've got a bit of a bad, bad back, so club head speed is going to be down. I'm relying a lot on this Flash Face and Jailbreak technology. Um, we've got a custom shaft in this, so we're currently playing the Tor AD Graphite Design TP7 X Flex. It's up at 80 grams. So the shaft options in this, it's either the Hazardous Smoke, which is obviously a very, very good premium shaft, or the Tenzai AV. That's about as quick as I'm going to be able to go today. Ah, feels solid. It really does. Another green hit. Ow. It's fading now. Should be pretty close again. So you take it, absolutely take it every day of the week. So strangely, we're get, getting more of a left to right shot shape, which I find rather unusual, but obviously I'm not getting, I'm not really getting through it. It's more of a hold off. Let's see if we can get through it, see if it's gonna make any difference today. No. No, no, no. One big low pull. Ah, oh dear. That's a bit better. At least we're getting that right to left going. That hurt. Okay, the numbers. This is why we're here. And unfortunately, they are going to look very different with me only being at 60% health. But if you've seen the reviews, my previous reviews, you'll know I've always said it, I'm not a Callaway Wood player. Something suit your eyes and 
calorie woods aren't usually my go-to. I've used them and they perform fantastically, but it's personal preference, I will be honest. They're definitely growing on me. I love the look of this one, definitely get in there. Sound and feel is awesome, and I think this flash face technology is an innovation that I've definitely never seen or felt. Performance-wise, with it with being at like 60% health with the back, club head speed is obviously down, but the ball speed is very, very high still. Um, 2,800 RPM. So with the backspin there, with me not being able to get through the ball, we've had a lot of left to right shot shapes, which is naturally going to impart more backspin. But 2,800 is definitely a pretty solid average number on, on spin. But guys, if you need any more help, give us a call on 1800 652 211. I would strongly, strongly suggest if you're a Callaway player or just, just go and try one, anybody, just go and hit one. If you don't like it, you don't like it. If you do, awesome, you do. <laughs> but if you're a Callaway fan, I know you're going to like this club. It's definitely Callaway golf through and through with unbelievable innovations by Doc Hock and the R&D department. So spot on, great job. Um, obviously, email, email me if you need any more information. And of course, subscribe. Thank you very much.